uh, and try to describe as best as possible, but I apologize in advance. Uh, you want to put it, you know, somewhere near the top so you get out as much power as possible and less the efficiencies. All right, so basically you want to pick a good point on that curve and stick with it as much as possible. Gear your, gear everything. You know how fast you want the robot to go, so take the motor at the torque and at power output you want and just gear it so that the wheels actually turn at approximately the speed you're looking for. Um, and the question is, you know, uh, oh, sorry, nope, we're in a good picture now. Uh, this is an oscilloscope looking at a PWM output. Uh, and so you can see that basically the, the, the line goes up and down, it's about one third down, two thirds up. So if you do this insanely fast to humans, it looks like the motor is just running at a slower speed. Uh, and so if, there, if the line is up two thirds of the time, it's going two thirds of its max speed. And this is a real way you control speed on robots without totally messing up your power output. Um, and the question is, you know, how do you pick the point that you run this square wave at? Um, and the important thing to remember is that climbing takes force. Uh, unless you're going to be constantly operating on a perfectly smooth surface, you're going to need uh, a little bit extra boost to get over whatever you happen to run into. Um, and what happens very often is that people, they put themselves right at this total peak, and then they have to go up a hill, so now they're moving slower, so now they get pushed down this side of the curve, they're outputting less speed, it's coming out as torque, now the motor's less efficient, so they can shove further down the curve, and further down the curve, further down the curve, and they're just wailing in place and really not getting anywhere. So uh, you want to optimally pick a place a little bit over towards the speed side, is so if you hit a bump, you don't wind in this horrible downward spiral of getting nothing done at all. Uh, and the expected terrain will change approximately where on the speed side of the curve you want to set your running point, generally speaking. Um, yeah, I hope I'm going at okay speed. <laughs> this is, uh, you can see at the bottom, these things here. I'm gonna, it's like, I feel like I'm a total dick here. Uh, <laughs> these things at the bottom, uh, these are PWMs. We usually do this as a hardware object. You buy them, the internet sells them, they're like a hundred bucks. They're cheaper if you like fire. Um, but like, you know, a, a good, trustworthy, like, I would feel comfortable putting this on my robot and then it will probably not be the thing that catches fire about 100 bucks. This guy um, removed all the cooling systems because he likes fire, that's his prerogative. Um, you do get to at least see the insides of them, which is interesting to some people. Alright, next item. <laughs>
that, you know, your multi head, you just share these things in half. They're like zinc plated shit. Like, they're, they're really not made for this, okay? Don't do this. This is also wrong. <laughs> Oh. 